Oh, hi, uh, my name is, uh, Carlos Kyles, and I want to share my, uh, epilepsy story. For as long as I can remember, though, I've been, uh, been, uh, struggling with, uh, epilepsy. I, uh, started having seizures while I was in, uh, high school, and when I had a seizure for the first time, it was really frightening. Uh, my brother and sister witnessed me had a seizure, and they called 911 to make sure I got to to the hospital so I thank God for my parents and sisters you know shout out to them but uh when I think about the fact that I had my first teacher in high school when I uh yeah I eventually went back to school during my senior year I noticed that it affected me in physical ways because I couldn't run cross country uh I wasn't used to taking it easy though because I'm used to being a, an athlete in school and things like that but it was only temporary though, but uh but that moment first told me that I need to give myself time to rest. But I started having seizures again though while I was uh going to uh Jefferson Davis Community College, which was which is now known as Coastal Alabama Community College, but back when I was going around the mid two thousands it was known as uh Jefferson Davis Community College. I had a like a seizure there as well though, uh, you know, during that time. And uh, that was one of the reasons, though, why I uh, had to take a break, though, from going to college, though, for a while. And it took me five years, though, to graduate from college. Had another seizure while I was at Alabama State uh, University. And uh, and it got frightening because when I had a seizure that time, I was in the stairway of one of the academic hallways. And I was all alone. And I uh, fell, you know, and I broke my jaw. And by the grace of God, though, I was able to get up. I felt like God sent angels my way, though, to pick me up. And I was able to get up. I was able to drag myself to get help. At first, I yelled, though, help, help. No one came. So I had to drag myself to get help. And I thank God for my friends, though, that got me the help that I uh, needed. And when I went to my dance team, you know, during that time, I, uh, they were glad I was okay. They told me don't scare them like that. And I even told, and one of my friends even told me that if I would have been a few steps higher, I would have been messed up. Or in other words, I, you know, that fall though could have killed me. So, even after uh, Alabama State University, I still had uh, seizures, uh, like, you know, on and off during that time. Mostly, you know, mini seizures. I know I had uh, two more seizures that landed me, uh, you know, in the hospital. But thinking about those past seizures I had in the mid in the 2010s, uh, they're uh, stress. You know, they're they're triggered though by stress. I started you know noticing that, and I also noticed, you know, while on the job though, it made you know doing my job though even you know even harder because I got to make sure I'm eating. I got to make sure I'm not stressing myself out. I'm making sure I don't get you know too angry. And when you have seizures that are triggered by stress. It makes maintaining a job a lot harder because you got to take care of yourself. You got to make sure you don't get too angry. You got to make sure you don't get too uh, stressed out. And, of course, you know, I'm a, a lot of people may not know it, though, but uh, that's connected with things like depression and uh, anxiety and things like that. Because uh, not only that, though, but I was dealing with bullying as well, though, during that time. And, see, and uh, epilepsy, though. If you don't take care of yourself and take your meds, though, can make mentioning though a lot harder. So I definitely, you know, dealt with a lot of anger and frustration because it took me years to accept the fact that wow, I'm not like everyone else, and it was really discouraging. But even though, you know, this job didn't work out at the deli though, because a employee snapped on me and I had to leave. And if I didn't leave, I was gonna either have a heart attack, or I could have have uh, another seizure though on the job, possibly hitting my head and you know and killing me. Because it was really sad, though, that it was at a job at the deli, though, to where, you know, I got snapped on over something small or even some, you know, chicken. You know, that is downright insane. But, uh, even though I noticed over the years that, uh, it's been a struggle for me, though, to maintain a regular job. I haven't lost the hope, and this is why. I had a boss, though, at the deli, though, when I was working there for a season, though, told me, you can have autism, which I do. And even got bullied for. You can have epilepsy. And people with epilepsy though. Get bullied for it as well. And you can even have. 
you know, Tourette's. But don't let it stop you from living your life. And that is so true. Because even though epilepsy makes it a lot harder, though, for me to have, like, a normal, regular job. The key to that is this, though. As long as I uh, take proper care of myself, which I do take medicine for, I'm learning to not be stressed out and deal with stress and anger better and make sure I take proper care of myself, I can still live. But I also learned that you got to do things differently. And for me, though, that difference is this. Run a business. You know, start a uh, business at home. And that's why I want to get the help that I, you know, need. Because I don't got to stop living my life. You just got to adjust and adapt. And I just got to adjust, though, from trying to maintain a 9-to-5 job to getting a business. And that's why not only am I looking for funding, though, to start a business with Primerica. But I'm also... Looking to create more funding though for other businesses that I'm other businesses that I'm starting, including Polysaw Incorporated. And that takes information though from my own story of struggling with bullying and rejection. And even and even connects though with uh, you know, epilepsy, because again though, you know, epilepsy makes, you know, living a challenge, getting a job a challenge, and it makes it more challenging when sometimes you're bullied for it. But that's why I'm starting all these you know businesses though because not only do I want to take care of myself but I want to be an inspiration to others though that are struggling with epilepsy though and bullying that hey again you can have autism you can have epilepsy and you can have it have Tourette's but don't let it stop you from living your life and I'm not gonna let it stop me from living my life just gotta do something differently and that's starting a business and I just wanted to share you know my my story and uh I just want to say, though, uh, you know, God bless and uh, be a diamond with a story to tell.